In Bangladesh, farmers feed their cows a pill to beef them up for a higher profit. This same pill is taken by the girls in the country's biggest brothel, so they can grow larger and chubbier. Big is beautiful in Bangladesh, so the girls are bulking up with the help of a drug or a dexin. Get Real investigates what the effects are and why aid agencies can't seem to stop the trend. Another train, another batch of potential customers for businesses in the area. This is Dulatia town, about three hours away from Dhaka city, and a major transit point for people headed up north of the country. It's also where Bangladesh's biggest brothel is located. I'm Roma. ছিল সমান হয়ে যায় বা গালতল ফুলা টুলে যায় মোটা হয়ে যায় আর কি রুমা নাও ইটস টুইস অফ হোয়াট শি ইউজড টু হোয়েন শি ফার্স্ট অ্যারাইভড হার অ্যাপিটাইট ইনক্রিজড আফটার টেকিং হোয়াট শি কলস মেডিসিন আমি যখন এখানে প্রথম আইছি তখন মনে করেন তিন মাস কি দুই মাস আমি লোকই পাইনি মানে দামই করে নেই at 100 taka, or just above one US dollar for half an hour, competition is keen among the brothel's 1,500 sex workers, some as young as 12. So like rumor, many of the girls resort to taking a steroid, popularly known as oridexin, or they're forced to by the brothel owners. আর মোটা মেয়ে দেব বলে পারে হয়তো কাছে বসলো হয়তো এক বোতল মদ খাইলো বা মনে করেন যে শিমের কাছে একবার সে দুবার এনজয় করলো ওটা মানে করেন যে বিছনার ভিতর ফিটিস হয় সব জায়গায় ফিটিস হয় এনজয় করতে তাদের কাছে ভালো লাগে আর তারা সব দিক দিয়ে স্বাচ্ছন্দ্য অনেক ই করে মেকআপ করে স্বাচ্ছন্দ্য ভালো কাপড় চুপড় ভালো পরে সিটি গুল মুল টুল পরলে পারে এমনি সুন্দর লাগে ফিটিস লাগে সুন্দর দেখা যায় কাস্টমার চয়েস করে Actor's family has been breeding cows for 20 years. For as long as Actor can remember, they've been using this drug to beef up his cows for a higher profit. He gets the pills from the local pharmacy for about one US cent a pill. No questions asked. This, even though oridexin is a prescription pill. Oridexin, the pill that cows take to fatten up, is the same pill that girls like Rumor use. Also for the same purpose of putting on weight. <laughs> Oridexin is the brand name of the drug known as dexamethasone, also known as dexamet. This steroid is usually used to treat asthma or other allergies and inflammation. 
but Rumor doesn't have any of these ailments. Do you know about the side effects of the pill? No, I should be but I'm done. In short term, they are always high. Um, they are insomnia, nausea, vomiting. The bone is bad, hobe, bone is hobe. Then we should hypertension, diabetes mellitus, uh, mental disturbance, osteoporosis. Now that she's more beautiful. Rumor can earn about 2,500 taka, or 30 US dollars on a good day. Most of it goes to paying her siblings' school fees. Her family thinks she works as a domestic maid. Mired in poverty, aid agencies say most girls are forced to take the pill to earn more money. <laughs> Just who are these doctors who supply oridexin for weight gain? And if oridexin is a prescription drug, is it readily available over the counter? Get Real goes undercover. We're deep in the heart of Bangladesh's biggest brothel, where some 1,500 sex workers ply their trade. Away from the public glare, some of them engage in a dark secret. Because Big is beautiful, sex workers like Rumor are turning to a steroid called Oridexin to gain weight. This same pill is used by farmers in Bangladesh to beef up their cows. It works by increasing their appetite. Um, তখন <laughs> The doctor rumor refers to is the village physician who claims to be able to treat common ailments like cough and cold. Kolilio Rahman is one of them, but he insists he doesn't usually supply the girls with oridexin for weight gain. <laughs> Lerbni is a brothel owner here. She declined to give her real name. Lerbni says village doctors are the ones responsible for the continued widespread use of oridexin. Although a prescription drug, it can easily be had for one US cent a pill at any of the illegal pharmacies within the brothel. It's sometimes referred to as a vitamin to make it more palatable for young girls. Along the train terminal, we counted more than 20 pharmacies. Among them is Kolilior Rachman's, which he's been manning for the past eight years. Do you sell the drug Oridex on here? Anyone can buy it? Do, do I need to see you to buy it? No, I don't want to buy it. Buy the description. Oh, but what are these? He claims to have a degree in pharmacy. But when Get Real probed, he admitted to having only basic knowledge of the medicine he stocks. So what, what is this? He insists that he doesn't supply oridexin to the girls to gain weight.
আমরা দেখি অনেকে যদি যাকে মানে ট্রিটমেন্ট শুরু যদি তাকে আমরা লিখি তার উপরে আপনার হাইস্ট পাঁচ থেকে সাত দিনের উপরে দেওয়া যাবে না না আমরা উপদেশ দিয়ে আপনারা এটা কখনো ভুল করে খাবেন না তারপরে ওরা এটা মনে হয় ওরা ইনভলেট করে ওরা নিজে ইচ্ছা মতো এটা ব্যবহার করে like Dr. Marbob Jobayan, would visit the brothel to offer free treatment to the girls. But he says they would rather turn to the village doctors for help, as they can get what they want instantly, including Oradexan. As word had got round about the filming team's presence just outside the brothel, none of the pharmacists were willing to share more. So Get Real went undercover in central Dhaka city to find out how easily available Oridexin is. If Oridexin is a prescription drug, it shouldn't be sold over the counter. Both pharmacies we visited did not ask us for a prescription. They readily supplied Oridexin, no questions asked. <laughs> Morgina Baby was in the sex trade for 10 years before getting involved with an aid agency called Save the Children. She says although Oridexin consumption has fallen somewhat since 1997, it's still not possible to stop the girls from taking it entirely. <laughs> Prolonged use of the drug has aged Zana well beyond her 28 years. And Oridexin is not the only drug prevalent in the brothel. What kind of women do you like in terms of the size? Mota medium, mota high level, mona purush chale dey reach to action beshi. In what way attractive? Purush chale dey to mona karan book ayong mazar dikhe hello pasando beshi. Why not too skinny? Why don't like skinny? Isu ni na the chikom chakom ata inza korte gello shere kom halu maza paada gana. Classes like these are routinely organized by aid agencies working in the brothels. They try to raise awareness about the dangers of drugs like oridexin, which sex workers take to gain weight for their clients. Oridexin is the same steroid that farmers feed their cows to fatten them. But the reality is, the girls forget these words of caution once they return to the brothels. Aid agencies say they continue to see girls suffering from the side effects of long-term Oridexin use. And there's been about five or six deaths reported since 1997. 28-year-old Zana is a long-term user of Oridexin. 
and it's evident. An orphan by 11, she was tricked into prostitution at 15 when her landlady promised an arranged marriage. She spent the next 10 years at a brothel in Faridpur, just south of Dulatia. আমার সাধনে আন্দারে থাকার কালে তেনে খাওয়া শুরু করাই দিছে আর ইনে তো সাধনে তিন বার সাইড वाला খাওয়াই তো খা ট্যাবলেট ঠিক আছে রাইতে খাওয়াই তো দুপুরে খাওয়াই তো সকালে খাওয়াই তো শরীর স্বাস্থ্য ভালো না কয় কি শরীর স্বাস্থ্য ভালো না করলে ইনকাম করতে পারবে না এত লোক যাবে না পাঁচ বছরের তেনে ওই শরীরটা ঠিক হইতো Zana can't tell us how much weight she's lost, but says she's not as plump as she used to be. This, after she tried to quit taking the drug when she came to Dulatia brothel. From three pills a day, to one per day, and now, one pill every five to ten days. Mata beta kore zora se, tar vare khayte vari na. Hello, da khayle ko da baato khayte vari, salte vari, aate vari. Kaan uye da na khayle ta ma shorin thik thik ho bina. O shuke phire zabo, tar vare dar na ta kastu maran tu varu na ta kastu mar zabe na. Income <laughs> It's Friday, the start of the busiest time of the week for the sex workers. Zana needs to mask the side effects that Oridexin has on her. Ironically, what once made her attractive to men is now taking its toll on her appearance. She hopes these facial sessions will help to ease the aging process. <laughs> To be able to compete with the other 1,500 sex workers in Bangladesh's biggest brothel, some as young as 12, Zana would have to prolong the use of oridexin indefinitely. বিশ <laughs> <laughs> Even as Oridexin keeps going strong, another drug is starting to make the rounds. Mojina tells us these local people have powerful political connections that enable them to get and supply these drugs. 
Although yaba is a drug of the rich, it's been gaining favor among the girls and their clients for its ability to stimulate sex and keep them going for longer. বুলাই রাখা অনেকেই দেখা যাচ্ছে কি এখানে মেয়েরা বেশি তো একটু ভালোবাসার পাগল দেখা গেল যে একটা ছেলের সাথে ভালোবাসা করলো সেই ছেলে অনেক লোভ লালসা দেখাইলো তোমাকে আমি বিয়ে করব তোমার নিয়ে আমি সারা জীবন থাকব এরকম বিভিন্ন অভিনয় করে দেখা গেল যে ওই মেয়েটার যখন চেহারাটা খারাপ হয়ে গেল তখন আর একটা মেয়ের কাছে গেল তখন ও কি করবে ও তখন এরকম আজিবাজি নেশা করে বেড়ায় যে জীবনে তো কোনো দামই নাই অনেক মেয়েরা মারা গেছে The day is just beginning for one of the world's oldest professions here in Bangladesh. Soon girls as young as 12 will be enticing clients with bodies made attractive from the steroid that's used to make cows bigger and fatter. Because the heavier you are, the better it is for business. Zana hopes to be able to get at least one client tonight. A pale comparison compared to the five or six she used to get when she was younger. For now, aid agencies are the only ones working to make sure the situation doesn't worsen. To eradicate the use of oridexin and other drugs in the brothels, those in power must step in. But with the business generated by such industries, it's perhaps why the drugs continue to be used and abused. For those caught in this vicious cycle, they remain part of Bangladesh's brothel secret.